Aces. Hey, it's Wednesday, August 31st, and I got some new toys. A box of B and H toys. Let's go through them real quick. He says, knowing that it's not gonna be real quick. Uh, this is a wooden camera, seven inch sunshade. In shooting outside in North Carolina the other day, I realized that A, I brought my matte box and my filters, did not bring any filter trays, so I couldn't fucking use that thing. The other issue that is relevant to what I'm talking about is I was outside for a shot and I could not really see the screen too well. So I realized that didn't have a sunshade. So this should work for the red uh, LCD and also for the small HD. But I already have one for the small HD. So mainly this is for the red. Also, got a time code cable because also on the gig in North Carolina, I realized that I didn't have uh, a way to do timecode out of the red, but unless you have an adapter to use those ports, uh, you can't plug anything in. So this cable should be what I need for timecode. Wooden camera, I was, uh, they have a nice little adapter that makes timecode gen lock and all that sync. Uh, that's about 400 bucks. This is only about 70 bucks. So I figured I'm not gonna use those things barely ever. So I spent 70 bucks on one fucking cable for one job that may happen in the future instead of 400. So it's kind of a win. All right, and then the big thing that I got today at least is my very own Canon 16 to 35 F4 image stabilizer. I've used the 16 to 35 a few times. I've never had one of my own. Every time I use it for handheld works amazingly. I've also got a little filter because I'm anal. This is a great lens. I have the 24 to 70. I have the 70 to 200. This is a great uh, third lens in that trilogy. I fucked my hair up a lot. Fried the shit out of it. Long story. Great lens. Very good for handheld. Very good for running around. Um, the one issue that the 16 to 35, the old one originally had was though it didn't have image stabilization. So a lot of handheld run and gun ENG type shoots um, without an image stabilized lens, they get weird. So now I have my own 16 to 35, which um, I just remembered I had the 24 to 105. So why did I get the 16 to 35? Considering there's only a couple more uh, stops difference. The good answer is I shouldn't have gotten this lens. The bad answer is I did anyway. And you know you're gonna be the wide cam running around doing stuff, tight spaces, things like that. Just the, the little 16 to 24 push does give you a lot of extra range, especially in tight areas. The 24 to 105 is good. Uh, this is also a better made lens. I don't know if that makes a ton of difference. There's also, it's not the wide as the other one, this little compact guy. So anyway, now I've got, I've got this one. So that concludes our day, or at least the part of the day that is now. Bye.